How did this massive, awe-inspiring mountain chain that makes us feel so small and insignificant come about? Were the peaks and valleys always there? Or did the earth cool off over millions of years, leaving behind a wrinkled surface like that of an old apple? The white line of Loxite limestone can be seen from far away. It reveals a tectonic overthrust. Above it, the Verrucano is over 250 million years old. Below, the Flish only 50 million. The older rock mass was pushed over the younger one for a distance of at least 35 kilometers. What does the Glarus overthrust tell us about the origins of the Alps? layer upon layer? At the beginning of the 19th century, no one understood what forces were at work here. However, precise descriptions and drawings of the geological structures that were so clearly visible here led the scientific community to accept the possibility to reconsider the existing theories. 100 million years ago, the African plate started to move towards the European plate. As a result of the collision of the two continents, whole rock packages were sheared off from their original location, thrust upwards and over, and folded deep inside the Earth. This collision zone rose up, and with the erosion, valleys and mountains were formed. As a result, processes that are still underway today at great depths have become visible in the tectonic arena Sardona. Here, where the formation of the Alps becomes tangible, the first insights into the origins of this awe-inspiring mountain landscape were finally gained 150 years ago, and research on this subject continues to this day. This is the reason why the region was included in the World Heritage List in 2008. <laughs> 